we are looking at a New King James single column reference Bible. This is the Thomas Nelson New King James uh, Premier Collection Edition in black goatskin. This Bible is uh, Smith's own, it's edge lined, art gilting. Um, the one of the features I really love about Thomas Nelson and the New King James editions they've been putting out lately is the comfort print. I huge fan of the comfort print. There's there's two typefaces that I really like, and it's the New King James comfort print, and I'm a really big fan of the ESV uh, font that they use. I like both of those a whole lot. But one thing that's really cool about this Bible and the premier collection that Thomas Nelson has been putting out is the paper on the premier collection. Now, Thomas Nelson has been using 36 GSM on a lot of their Bibles, like the Open Bible and the Preaching Bible. Both of those uh, have the 36 GSM. I think the Minister's Bible has the 36 GSM paper as well. And this paper here is a 36 GSM, and this one is called the Premium European Bible Paper. This edition is all black letter, and it has a cross-reference system. I think it has like 72,000 references. Uh, the box isn't telling me. I, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, 72,000 uh, cross-references, which I, I really, really enjoy. Right behind the uh, NASB, NASB has around 95,000 cross-reference. What's great about this box, as soon as I, I received this from Thomas Nelson for a review, is this box. I mean, there's, I always think it's silly people talk about boxes, but man, this box is probably one of the thickest boxes I've received. It's very, very thick box, and it comes wrapped a lot like your, um, your Skylers come wrapped in paper to kind of help train that yap and keep it protected. This also came wrapped in paper. The Skylers made it as well, but I know some other Bibles do that. But Thomas Nelson did that on this um, premier edition here. So here's the Bible in goatskin, black goatskin. And this black goatskin feels a lot like this ESV uh, preaching Bible. These these are both printed in China, so I don't know if if they're sourcing their goatskin from from the same uh, from the same place, but they feel very similar in, in to the hand, and even kind of the the pebble grain in the way it looks. If you can get a good visual there, but this has three ribbons, and these three ribbons they're two black, one red. And they're the three-eighths satin ribbons. It's a single-sided satin ribbon. They're three-eighths, so they're the really wide ones. Um, and they and this does have a yap. So you'll notice there is somewhat of a yap. This Bible is a very thick, I think it's like an inch. It's like an inch and three-quarter inch wide spine. So it's a it's a thick Bible, but it's not uh it's not long. Or, or very wide. This is the, <clears throat> if you're familiar with the CSB personal size single column, which is a really, really good reading Bible. I'm going to kind of compare this Bible to this Bible here because they're similar in what, in what they are and, and how I personally am, am going to use them. But notice that, that the uh, New King James Version is a little bit wider than than the CSB, but in all fairness, um, the leather is much better, and the, the print, the paper, everything's much better, actually, on this one. Translation aside, but just as far as the physical Bible, this one is, is a much better, better Bible. So when you open this up, it's leather lined. You have the, you have the line, the, the guild, guild line around the inside, front and back. And it says goatskin leather, and it's edge lined, and the the binding in this Bible is really flexible. So some Bibles are a little bit more stiff in the binding. This one is very very flexible. If I can show you here how this spine acts when you open it up, if you maybe at this end, be easier to see. Notice how the 
the book block flexes up and then your your cover kind of comes down like this right here but it's a very flexible binding and if i'm honest it feels wonderful in the hand it feels very very nice to hold it's just a bible that you you want to keep in your hand so let's get into the text and I'm going to tell you how I'm currently using this Bible. I'm reading out of this one. I have a lot of Bibles, and I don't read out of all of them all the time, but I am reading out of this one some because I really enjoy this Bible. You have the presentation page, the second presentation page. And then you'll notice that it's, it's a um, uh, printed in 2018. I guess that means, so number one, I guess that means this is the first run. Printed in China. And then there's not a, there's not a whole lot. You have, the, you have the preface there. Old Testament, and then you get right into your text. And this has a bit of a margin around the side. Now, if this was a non-reference Bible, it would have an awesome margin here on the side to, to take notes in. But even with the references listed here, you still have room where you can write in the margins of your Bible a bit, even where you have room where there's no reference in the margin. But what's so great about this Bible is I'm a believer that, you know, we always talk about, I'm a, I'm a pastor, so we talk about preaching Bibles, Bibles you can preach from a lot. I'm really of the mind, the way, the way I preach, I could really preach nearly out of any Bible from my church, the way I, the way I preach. I, I have my notes on a tablet. Most of my verses are up on the screen, so I'm able to to read my uh, text from the screen. I don't necessarily need to look down at my Bible. Having said that, you can certainly preach from this text. It's not as easy as a verse-by-verse -verse text to preach from. Verse-by-verse, -verse, for most pastors, they really like that verse-by-verse -verse layout. I, I'm starting to really like a verse-by-verse -verse layout. And if you do like that, you can get New King James. If you're a New King James person, New King James has the preaching Bible, which is, in my opinion, if you go back and look at my preaching Bible layout video, this one for me, this was is my favorite layout as far as a preaching Bible. It's a verse by verse, 11 point font. So if I'm going to preach of a new King James, that's the one I'm going with. <clears throat> but this is not going to be a Bible that I would necessarily preach from, but rather this is a Bible that would be really good to keep a pen just kind of snagged uh, up here on the cover. And in the mornings when I take some time for devotional reading, maybe if you live by a lake and you're somebody who likes to go outside and enjoy nature for a little bit and you want to read, you're just reading scripture to take in the word of God and to meditate on that and maybe even write a little bit in your, in your Bible, you know, take notes in the margins. Maybe you're somebody, I do this sometimes, I read devotionally, and then there's sometimes as I'm reading, I will, depending on the Bible, I'll mark in the Bible as I'm reading. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm preaching through Matthew right now, so I'll read through Matthew over and over and over again, and I might circle passages and highlight passages as I'm reading that I'm, I know I'm going to preach from this particular passage. This is a fantastic Bible to read for devotional reading or just to read through. I like single columns for that. I like a single column paragraph format to just read and enjoy God's word and to listen to him speak to me in my own private time. So this is a good Bible for that in that it is the comfort print, which I have talked a lot about in my videos. Comfort print's amazing. The paper is fantastic. Ghosting is a non-issue on this Bible whatsoever. And this is a 10 and a half point font. I do find that um, this comfort print seems to be about a half a point smaller than advertised. Okay, I'm not saying that this is not a 10 and a half. I'm saying that whenever I look at these uh, editions by Thomas Nelson with the comfort print, it seems like it's about a half a point you know, smaller than, than what it says. That's just, that's my opinion. I'm not saying that it is, in fact, half a point smaller, but this way, this way it seems. Okay, still, even a 10-point font is, it's amazing. Ten and a half is what is advertised, and it is very, very readable, at least to me. 
Okay, so this Thomas Nelson, the paper that they use, so white. The font is so dark and so bold, which makes it very, very easy on my eyes. And then one thing that they have done a lot in their Bibles lately is they do these two colors. So they will have, you'll have your, your white page, you'll have your black text, and then they add color to the book titles, to the chapter numbers. And some of them, like the preaching Bible, will add color to the to the verse number as well. So this one has, let's just flop right to the middle. Let's get into some um, poetry. <clears throat> right here you have, uh, it's this red, kind of a red color for the, for the book. And then for a chapter number, it's that same color. Well, they don't do it in the Psalms. Chapter numbers, they normally will... Right here, for example, they'll make that bulb. It's different than the Psalms. I just now noticed that. <clears throat> so Psalm 42, notice that it's it's black here. But your um, your subject headings are in this in this red as well. I'm wondering now if it's like that throughout. Yeah, it is. Okay. So your subject heading is also in that red color, and it's not like a neon red or a bright red. It's a kind of like a brick almost red which is great and easy on the eyes and makes it just look very appealing to read also your references if you notice your references are in this red as well <clears throat> so verse or chapter 20 verse 30 right there is in red and one other thing you'll notice i don't know if this is going to come to you on camera but your uh your reference notes like here's the number one right here where it says beth page that number one is also red and then if you have an A right here, that is in red also. So very easy to read. It just it, It's nice on your eyes, and it feels good in your hand. And if you like the New King James translation, I mean, it's a win all the way around. Notice that uh, art gilting on the side of the page there, which is just beautifully done. Beautifully done. Thomas Nelson is trying very hard to make me a new King James uh, guy, <laughs> which I have I have been reading a lot of the new King James lately, and I used to never, ever read the new King James, but I've been reading a lot of it lately. Love the translation. Really, really enjoy it. I like having uh, a copy of the, uh, of the TR, of a TR text, and that's this one here. And, I, you know, I use a King James sometimes also. But anyway, you have a concordance in the back. And it's, you know, it's a decent two-column two column concordance. And then you have maps. Uh, there's a Bible. There's a one-year reading plan also. And I have considered using this. I might in the future use this one-year reading plan and just read through this Bible. But I kind of like to use it just devotionally right now. But you have a few maps. You have one. It's um, kind of a... It's glossy. It's a little bit glossy kind of cardstock map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight maps. And then just this end sheet here. I think that's the ISBN number right here if you want to take a look at that. Then just a really cool grain on the Bible. Uh, this one has kind of this... Uh, variation in the grain, which I like Bibles where the grain has variations in it, where you can maybe the animal snagged on something, cut himself, and then it healed differently. Just lets me know that it's real, real leather. Okay, guys, so that one in comparison to the CSB, which is, for me, it's a close comparison. The footprint is very, very similar now I, I'm a I'm a big fan of CSB. I I like CSB. I probably like the translation of the CSB, uh, maybe a little bit better than the New King James. Although I'm still com comparing them, but <clears throat> as far as these two Bibles, reading the Bibles, just reading them devotionally, you're going to have a similar feel. The CSB paper quality, of course, this is a single column paragraph format, but this one lacks some things the paper quality is not nearly as good the font layout although this is designed by 2k denmark which is the same company that designed the font on the 
uh, new King James uh, comfort print. They the, the same company designed them, but the the new King James font is much better. It seems bolder and easier on the eyes. Now this CSB is not a reference Bible, but it is that single column paragraph, and which is very nice Bible to to read. So you're going to lack a few things if you're if you're looking at a CSB. This is a goatskin too. The leather on this uh, on this one here is is not great for a goat skin. It's unusual kind of goat skin. And this one is um, paced down, so you're not getting that leather lined in this one either. But this one just uh, ghosts a little bit more. The print's not as easy on the eyes. The concordance is extremely tiny concordance in the back. But if I were going to compare this Bible to, to any other Bible, I mean, this is a single column paragraph format so you can kind of compare that to any of them but one i use right now that's a single column that's similar in size footprint is this csb but if i'm honest this physical bible is awesome uh, if anybody on the csb team is watching do this to your next run of csbs do this man the, the guys at thomas nelson they they have been really rocking it and making some awesome bibles i really thank them for the work that they put into it I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will just help me to continue the work and uh, to produce videos to show you guys and give deeper looks into some of these Bibles that's out on the market today. Have a great day. God bless.